What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Anique. I'm a classical pianist and I guess all of you know the situation when you're like practicing a part over and over and over and over again like for so many hours until it finally works and in my past 20, 21 years of playing piano, I discovered some methods for me that just helped me so much to reduce the practicing time. So in this video, I'm going to share three pro-practicing secrets to help you to reduce your practicing time and have more time to enjoy the music. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. If you want to support me and this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon, you'll find the link in the description box. Let's get started. One of the most important things always when it comes to playing piano is warm up. <laughs> I know, it's maybe one of the most boring thing when it comes to playing piano. Like, it's not very musical, especially if you do like these hard on exercises. But I can guarantee you it's like helping so much because afterwards you are first of all not doing so many mistakes in like movements and stuff and second you can just directly start in the right tempo and with so much more enjoyment of music because you had to do these exercises before. Every day I'm practicing my hand on exercises before anything else. Sometimes 10, 15, sometimes 20 minutes, depends on how cold my fingers are and depends on like how good I feel after doing the exercises. Now you don't have to do Hanon of course, there are also a lot of other exercises that you can do. You can of course also play scales if you are into this or arpeggios or whatever. I personally, I'm not so much into practicing scales because you know, it does not happen that much in piano literature that you actually need the scales. However, it is still a good exercise and it does help. Actually, I feel like it's very similar to when you do sports. I mean, you would never just go for the run and start like out of nowhere. I mean, you can, but like, let's say the result is not the best <laughs> and my body doesn't like it. So the same calls for piano playing. Warm up properly and prepare for what is coming. I also did a video about Hanar exercises. It's one of the very early videos on this channel. Uh, maybe I'll do another video about warming up where I'll go more into some other details. But if you're interested in how you can practice Hanon, you'll find the video up here. Sometimes when we are playing something that is like directly in front of our body, like in the middle range of the piano, the problem is that we are getting in our own way with our elbow and we are not so free with our movements. And because of this, we don't have so much control about phrasing and stuff. And we just take it the way it is sometimes instead of, you know, figuring out how to do it better. <laughs> and there is actually a very cool and easy trick to help yourself to understand the movement of this part better and the phrasing by just putting the notes that are playing here in front of you to your side so you have a lot of freedom with your arm and you just play the same melody line with it and see how your arm would naturally work. Then you repeat it a couple of times until you got used to this movement and then you transport it back to the part where it was originally and you'll see that the whole movement did change and your muscle memory is already starting to work. One of the most important things is repeating, 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 repeating and repeating. <laughs> now my tip for you is don't take two big passages. Like I like to concentrate on maybe one measure, two measures, up to four measures, sometimes a little bit more, but I really like to keep it like short so I can really concentrate on this part. And then after I figured out like the fingering and like the movements of it, I start to repeat. And there is actually a very cool trick that I learned. I just take 10 pencils put them on one side of the piano and every time I play it and I think it was good, I can take one pencil on the other side. If I feel like it was not that good, I have to take one back. And I have to repeat this so often until all the 10 pencils are on the other side. Now, of course, you don't have to do this with 10 pencils, but you can do this with like three, five pencils whatever you want. But I can promise you, if you're honest to yourself and if you're listening very carefully, this can take like 30, 45 minutes until you got all the pencils on the other side. But therefore, you can be sure that this part is going to be secure for the next three months at least. <laughs> this was the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, there are so much more methods out there to practice piano. Today, I just wanted to focus on three of my favorites, but as I said, there are much, much more. What are your go-to practicing methods that help you to speed up the whole practicing time? Tell me in the comments down below. We'll see us in the next videos. Bye.